Auto-tune cannot make you sound like Ed Sheeran or Beyonce or Charlie Puth or any of the other artists that you want to sound like. There is so much more that goes into a vocal production than just pitch. If this is your first time here, I'm Andrew Barr with Producing in the Box, where I teach you how to make incredible sounding music without analog gear, and I think you are better off without it. Auto-tune is so divisive. Some people love it, some people hate it, some people really don't care either way, but most everybody knows what it is. And the people that really have a lot of bad things to say about it think that they can sound like Beyonce or Ed Sheeran or whoever they wanna sound like using this tool, and that is just not the case. So I wanna break down the three things that auto-tune cannot fix. Number one is performance. Auto-tune cannot fix your performance. If you are in front of your microphone and you are absolutely killing it, auto-tune cannot fix that or cannot replicate that. If you get in front of your microphone and you're not being very engaging with it, you're not really feeling the music, your fans, your audience, people that listen to your music, they're gonna hear that. And that's something that auto-tune can't fix, it can't enhance, it can't do anything with. Your performance is yours and yours alone. Number two is tonality. If you sing with a specific tonality, people are gonna hear that. People recognize that it's you. If you listen to Ed Sheeran on the side of the street without auto-tune, and you listen to Ed Sheeran on his most recent song, you're going to know that that is Ed Sheeran. If you listen to a lot of his music, you can instantly pick it out whether he's using auto-tune or not. And that is something that auto-tune can't replicate. Yes, we have format controls and like throat length, but that really makes things sound artificial. In fact, we use that tool specifically to make things sound artificial. We use it for that chipmunk sound or for that froggy sound, that real deep low voice sound, but it always sounds artificial and it's supposed to sound that way. But besides that, we have no tonality control over your voice. That is another thing that is you and you alone. And number three, it's what I like to call the human vibe. It's the thing we really just can't explain, but we really understand it at a deep level, even though we really can't put words to it. It's why when we stack vocals, we record them multiple times over instead of just copying the same vocal down. Those little differences, the imperfections that we can give are what make our music sound like music. It's why when we track guitars, we put one in the left and one in the right and replay them two different times or four different times. It's why drums that are specifically aligned to a grid just don't sound human. Those imperfections is what makes music an art form. And that's something that autotune can't fix. It's something that autotune can't replicate. It is something that autotune has no control over. Your vocal performances are so much more than just pitch. So I want to be honest with you. If it was just autotune that was making the successful people successful, everybody would be successful. You can get autotune at such a low cost right now. You can literally get autotune along with a lot of other plugins in the all access bundle for less than 15 bucks a month. It's not out of tune that's holding people back. There is so much more to a vocal performance than that. So if you record vocals at home and you wanna be able to capture the human element, what makes a vocal track great, then just click the link in the description and download my free guide called the ultimate guide to recording vocals at home. In that guide, it literally goes through everything you need to know in order to get great sounding vocals anywhere in your house. So if you want, click this video right here. If you wanna see me take a shootout of Metatune versus Waves Tune Live. Little disclaimer, I love both of those plugins, but one just outshines the other. And click here if you wanna know how to actually compress vocals the right way. So thank you for being here. Thank you for clicking subscribe. And now as always, go create.